It's been over two weeks in quarantine for sure. Although it could be 7,000 days or it could be two days. It's about five weeks into quarantine and I am feeling uh, a little stressed out, a little overwhelmed, anxious. I think I kind of go between anxious and calm actually. I'm feeling hopeful that we're gonna get through this. I'm not getting better at cooking, but I'm getting better at dishes. It's kind of interesting because we have to substitute a lot of the ingredients because we don't have everything. I have this new thing about squash, <laughs> like butternut squash, acorn squash, all about the squash. I like to think of myself as a pretty damn good cook to start, but I've got this new recipe. It includes a bottle of wine, a glass, and a corkscrew. What I do is I open the wine bottle with the corkscrew, and I pour it in the glass, and then I drink it. What do I think Brianna's up to right now? Probably daydreaming about international travel. Well, I thought flights to Barcelona would be a little bit cheaper by now. Right now, if I had to guess what Jared was up to, I would say he's probably playing with his kids. I've never done daddy daycare before, so it's an interesting process. Or refining a process. Anthony is 1000%, I guarantee it. He is dictating a text message through his watch as he's driving a Kubota and Lionel is by his side. Right now, I am working a lot uh, along with all the Estrico production team. It's been a busy day. I presented a webinar on how video can help you reach your audience, especially in times of crisis. I've been working on recording and editing webinars on COVID-19 response. Despite the current circumstance, we're still gonna provide the highest quality video production we can to our clients. So whether that's a PSA or animation or corporate video or micro doc documentary style. We're working with a lot of our international clients, recording people in their remote offices from Shanghai to Milan to Chicago. So we're still finding ways to help them reach their audiences, get their messages across, um, explain their work and why it's important to really finesse that and make it into a professional product. To help tell their clients that they're still there for them, that they're a resource, and to show them that even in this time of social distancing, people are still connecting. I definitely won't take for granted, you know, moments where we can work as a team, be on location, um, collaborate together. Talking, uh, having conversations. After quarantine, I'll never take my family for granted. Daycare workers, they are amazing. We don't pay them enough. Museums, movie theaters, all the little things. I'll never take a hug for granted ever again. What I will never take for granted again is normalcy.